Yeah, my name's Robert Penner. I'm the Avian Conservation Manager for the Nature Conservancy here in Kansas. I've been with the Kansas chapter about going on 24 years now. The preserve is just under 8,000 acres, but we're also in the process of working with Ducks Unlimited to restore uh, 640 acres and then eventually we will add that to the preserve which would make us around 8,333 acres I think. We are on the north and west edge of the Cheyenne Bottoms Basin. We are basically a little higher in elevation than the wildlife area so most of our habitat is wet meadows and prairie but we have thousands of acres of shallow wetland basins here too. The mission of the Nature Conservancy is to protect the lands and waters in which all life uh, depends. But here we par that down a little bit. We're kind of protecting the lands and waters in which uh, mainly the migratory species of birds depend on for stopover habitat, but we also provide nesting habitat for grassland birds. And then, you know, all critters are welcome on the preserve. We employ a number of different management techniques to create the habitat that is desirable for both uh, migrating shorebirds and nesting grassland birds. Our number one technique is using what's called adaptive rotational grazing where we uh, move cattle across the preserve to create short and sparse grass habitat scattered across the preserve. Particularly uh, shorebirds like that really short grass habitat so about three big pastures every fall are grazed as down as low as we can to get that short grass habitat not only for fall migrants but also for spring migration but we also use haying uh, selective mowing we do some disking of areas to create that mud flat habitat that shorebirds like and so we're always using different techniques across the preserve Because we're such a large wetland, actually the largest interior wetland in the United States, this is a popular spot for all species of birds. We talked about shorebirds, ducks, geese, herrings, grassland birds, raptors. There's just, uh, there's actually 356 different species of birds that have been documented here. So this is a very attractive spot for bird watchers to come in and, and see the birds. If you look at a satellite photo of Kansas, Shine Bottoms and Quivir and other wetlands just kind of really pop. Uh, these are large wet areas that are surrounded by grasslands and so birds that migrate all the way from the southern tip of South America up to the Arctic Circle rely on uh, stopover sites along their migration pathway. They need to stop on a regular basis to feed and rest and Cheyenne Bottoms is right in the middle of the United States, right in the middle of the Central Flyway. So it's a hugely important area for birds to be able to stop. And also we have a lot of birds that actually come in down from the north during the winter and spend their winters here. So this is a great place for them to feed and, re and uh, spend the winters.